Hello everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to install Oracle Express Edition database and get connected using SQL Developer. So just to get started, I would go to www.oracle.com. On the menu here, I'll go to the developers. I'll go to the databases here. And there you can see all the details about latest databases from Oracle. I will go to the download. I want to download Oracle database here. And then if you scroll it down here, you'll see Oracle database express edition and i have windows 64 bit machine so i'll be installing oracle database 11g express edition so i will click on this one and i have to accept the license here and this is a 32 bit and this is a 64 bit here so i'm going to click on download here so you have to create the account if you don't have the account make sure you create one I'm gonna sign in here and as soon as I sign in there it's gonna start download uh, I already have this one here so I'm gonna cancel this download once you download it you're gonna you can basically you know put it on your desktop so here is the folder so this is the file I just downloaded so I'm gonna install this one to install this one I need to unzip this one uh, so I'm gonna go here extract to oracle this once i click this one is going to create this folder here so i already did that so i'm going to double click on this one disk one and i'm going to click double click on setup to get it going so this will install oracle 11g express edition database on my Windows 64 bit machine. I will click next here, accept the license, click next here, and I'm ready to install here. So I'm gonna say next here, it's gonna install in this folder here. Okay. It looks like I already had uh, prior versions of this one. So, I'm gonna click OK there and here we have to enter the system password. This is really very important. Whatever password you're gonna enter, make sure you remember that one. So I'm gonna use Oracle, O-R-A-C-L-E. You can use any password that you want. This is easier for me to remember. So it's again Oracle, O-R-A-C-L-E. Install. So uh, Oracle Database Express Edition has been successfully installed. I will click finish here. And uh, if you go here, uh, it already put uh, the icon here, but if you go here and scroll it all the way down to O category here, uh, you can see Oracle Express Edition is being installed. So uh, by default, it, it's already started the instance, but just to make sure, I'm gonna click on start instance here. This is how you will start the Oracle instance here. So I'm gonna close that one. I will go back again there. You can connect to Oracle database using SQL command line here. So what we can do is we can say connect. System slash 
Oracle is connected. And just to make sure it's working, I'm gonna say select sysdate from dual. So dual is a temporary table uh, that's given to you by Oracle. So you can practice a bunch of things there. Uh, you can type virtually anything and it will give you the result. For example, you can say select two plus three from dual. This is gonna give you five. So just a little like, exercise here. So this is how you would run um, SQL from command line, but make sure you first connect to the database here. So next I'm gonna show you how you can run uh, the Oracle from browser. So we go here, uh, we click on this one, and there is a web access given uh, to this database, get started. So I'm gonna click on this one, and this gives me this error here. We, Windows cannot find um, this particular uh, location. Uh, basically, it's trying to connect to the server and is not able to reach out to the port. So what we had to do is, uh, we had to uh, change this HTTP port to default setting of 8080. And to do that, what we need to do is, we need to go to our C drive here, Oracle app product server and then if you scroll it down these are the shortcuts for all those files getting sorted i'm gonna right click here and i'm gonna go to properties and here i'm i'm just gonna delete this one i'm gonna say 80 80 okay so you can double click here as well to see it's working so this is working fine, just to make sure it's working from uh, other places as well. I reran this Oracle instance, which is not needed basically, so I'm gonna close that one. So, uh, so let's go to Oracle here. And get started. So this screen will come up here. So I'm gonna click on Express Edition here. We need to again log it in here. System is a username. And Oracle is my password. So here what we need to do is we need to first create a workspace. Uh, why we need to create a workspace? Uh, Oracle by default give you two super users. One is sys, S-Y-S, and the other one is system. These super users have sort of a lot of powers. And uh, you are not supposed to mess with uh, super users. Uh, the reason for that is, you know, accidentally if you uh, delete some critical information from the database, there is no way you can get it back. So basically it's always better to create a local user with limited uh, privileges. And that's what we are doing here. So I'm gonna say here, create new database user. I'm gonna say, you know, let's it be my local user. You can give any name you want. I is, I'm gonna give my local user underscore app here. Again, it can be same. And I'm gonna say here, O-R-A-C-L-A-1-2-3. -E Just a little different name, O R. A C L E one two three and I'm gonna create a database here. So remember right now I'm logged in as a system user. Okay. As a system user, I created another user called my local user. Okay. So I'm gonna click here to log in here. And I'm log logging into my local user here. So I'm gonna say be here. So once you get the web access, it's gonna look like this. Here you can do a lot of stuff. 
Oh, I can see here SQL workshop. Uh, select SQL command. So you can run a bunch of queries here, whatever you want. So for example, I can say select sys date from dual. And I'm gonna run this one. It's gonna show you the sys date. Uh, describe all underscore tables. Right. I can say select star from all underscore tables. So maybe I need to highlight this one and run it. Yes, so if I run it like that, it's giving me the error because there are multiple lines of course, but if I just select this one, it gives me that one, so it gives me the, right now the donor is sys or system. Okay, and the problem with this one is, you know, just gonna show you 10 rows here, and it's very limited, uh, and this ID is not as, friendly as you would like it to be. So there is a better way to connect to uh, the Oracle database and that's what I'm gonna cover next year. So go to oracle.com again and from the menu, I'm gonna go to developer databases here. And if you scroll all the way down, tools, you'll see SQL developer. And that's what I want to download right now here. And you just uh, need to download this one. There is no install needed. So if you just click on download here, I set the license. So this is what Windows 64 bit with JDK included. This is what I would prefer. Okay. So click download here. Again, you have to sign in uh, using your username and password. And it's gonna start downloading this one. So I already have this one. I already downloaded it on my desktop. SQL developer, uh, this one. That's what is being downloading here as well. I'm gonna stop that thing here and use whatever I have it here. So once you have downloaded this one, you can drag the folder on the desktop, unzip it, and this is what you're gonna get here. So if you double click here, the SQL developer uh, application, we'll double click on this one, so you can run this one. And this is the IDE, uh, Integrated Development Environment, which helps you work with the database uh, and it's much easier to work with the uh, database using SQL developer. So I wanna create a new connection. So I'll say plus here. So I'm gonna say my, you can give any name to it. My connection, okay, call it local user. Or I'm just gonna call it, you know, user. Um, so the name of our local user was my local user and the password was Oracle one, two, three. And the rest is uh, as is, I'm not gonna do anything here. Click on the test here. And once you click on the test, it's a success. So I'm gonna say connect here. So it's been connected. So if you double click on this one, it's gonna give you uh, this tab here, my connection. And basically you can write uh, anything here. Plus if you extend this one, you can get 
you get all these functionalities which you usually don't get it in the web access interface so for example we can do whatever we want here for example select select star from all underscore tables so okay so i can click this one shortcut name is control enter as well so if you hit control enter it's gonna run as well so i'm gonna say control enter so it gives you uh, all the details that we saw earlier a lot of data here uh, it gives you demo tables demo users custom orders these are all demo tables that you can use for practice it also gives you department imp table as well to practice uh, remember you're logged in as a your local user okay so I can here um, write another line of course say describe uh, let's say I want to describe department okay. so it has this many fields uh, and then I'm going to want to describe EMP so it has this many fill I can say uh, select star from EMP and control enter so it's going to give me all the data there so and yeah, you can always work with dual so for example select says date from dual okay now why am i typing like this this is the way you type the commands so usually whatever keywords are there uh, you have to put those in uppercase and uh, table names field names are usually in lower cases okay so it's gonna work like this now we can create another connection uh, this time i'm gonna connect to my super user system so i'm gonna say uh, my connection system so user is system password is oracle right i'm gonna test this one success Let's connect so you have a local user here you have a you know your system super user here so i'm gonna say uh, select star from all underscore tables so th this gives me the list of uh, all the tables that i have access to as a system so you have a lot of tables here uh, all these system tables are being generated by oracle by default so you don't need to worry about them behind the scene oracle maintains a lot of information about all your interaction uh, with the database and it gives you a lot of cool things that you can work with but one thing you will notice that system uh, doesn't have those demo tables or emp or department table so so we have limited privileges here when we sort of you know work with uh, database user local so this is how you connect it uh, hopefully this was uh, helpful uh, thank you very much for listening